let's use displace filter to place a tattoo on this girl's arm and face right let's unlock the layer let's remove the background first let's use the magic eraser tool to remove the background it's always a good idea to remove the background we only need the subject and we don't have to perfectly select the subject it's okay if we remove only the background right this much is okay now let's select the duplicate of this girl's layer and let's convert the duplicate to a black and white image so we can use uh, Control shift u in pc or command shift u in mac so now we have turned the girl into black and white now uh, we will add some contrast to the image so we can simply activate the levels adjustment to activate the levels adjustment we can use Control l in uh, pc or command l in mac right so this is the levels adjustment with this levels adjustment we can uh, add some contrast to the image so these sliders are for shadows and highlights and also for midtones so this is a contrast so if we add contrast to the image tattoo sits properly on the surface of her body right so once we have added contrast to the image now we will save it go to file and we will save the image as a black and white PSD file or a PSD file let's not uh, select any other format other than PSD so we will just uh, put a name girl black and white that's it and once we have saved a black and white copy of this uh, girl we will just delete the layer and now let's get the tattoo so here are the two tattoos this left tattoo will be placing on the hand and um, the right one will be placing on the girl's face so first let's select this particular tattoo so we can use the lasso tool or any other tool and uh, we'll just drag this tattoo and uh, we'll just scale it down we'll adjust the tattoo properly on the arm of this girl we can also use the warp tool here with warp tool we can stretch or contract the tattoo we can just uh, place the tattoo exactly on her hand or arm but uh, let's keep it a little bit outside the hand let's not keep it exactly inside the or within the hand within the portion of the hand or arm let's keep it a little bit outside right and um, let's click on the tick mark over here to confirm the warp tool right now the next step is we will now use the displace filter to adjust the tattoo properly on her arm so we'll go to filter and here we have the option distort and in distort we have the option displace and in this place we have this uh, dialog box in this dialog box we have the horizontal scale and vertical scale we can just increase or decrease these values to increase the displace effect or decrease the displace effect we'll right now keep it to let's say 7 in both horizontal and vertical scale fields and we will just get the girl black and white image and uh, this is a PSD file we have just now saved and let's see how this 
file is going to affect the placement of this tattoo. So we we'll just click and we can see there is some change. Right. Now we will uh, just uh, apply a hide all mask to this, uh, but before that we will uh, apply a blending mode which is uh, multiply. Right. And now we will apply a hide all mask to this. So simply we will hold Alt and PC or Option and Mac and click on the mask icon at the bottom of the layers panel. Right. And we will select a brush. We will select a soft rounded brush and make sure that we have white in the foreground. And uh, we will just reduce the size of the brush and make sure that the mask thumbnail is active. And we will now paint on the arm of this curl. Right. So something like this. And we can also do one thing that is we can uh, reduce the opacity. So we can see here. We can slightly reduce the opacity. If you want more darkness, we can take one more duplicate. So we can see here. And we will reduce the opacity a little bit. And now we will get one more tattoo. This particular tattoo will be placing on the face of this girl. We'll simply drag the tattoo. And we will scale down the tattoo will adjust it properly on her face we'll just zoom into the image right we want the tattoo to sit properly on her face so for that what we'll do we'll again go to filter we'll select distort and we'll select displace and uh, this time we will uh, slightly reduce the displace value let's keep it uh, 4 and we will now click ok and we will again select the psd file we will just uh, select it and we will see how the tattoo's position will change see the tattoo is now properly placed on the surface of the girl's face and again we can select the multiply blend mode and we can slightly reduce the opacity and we can also take one more duplicate if you want a little bit extra darkness and again we will reduce the opacity right so this is how we can use displace filter to place tattoo on body surface